Remember that joke I made about a couple of planeswalkers or repeats? Well, Nyss is back. And she's back again. She's got two cards in this set. Someone else does too, but uh, I'll let you guess for a couple of weeks because um, I'm doing both Nissas first. This is the first of the two. I don't know if they have a particular order, but um, let's do this. This is Nissa, Vital Force. She sounds like a superhero at this point. Granted, she is kind of part of the Justice League for this game. She is five mana, three and two green. She has five loyalty. So, hey, she matches. Must be a thing with her. Her plus one. Untap target land you control. Until your next turn, it becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental creature with haste. It is still a land. Good in that if you say you're under the untap emblem from last week, uh, that might actually help you a little bit. Bad in that now someone can kill your land. Easily. Until your next turn and pray they don't. But you can smack them with it for five, so, yeah, swings and roundabouts. Her minus three. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. That means anything but an instant or sorcery. Or I... Th yeah, I think enchantments count as permanence. I have to double check that, but... Yeah, you can get your lands back. You can get your creatures back. Your artifacts back. You can get pretty much anything back. Nice. And Jesus, she takes one turn to build up to this. Oh my god. <laughs> We have found one of the fastest building nukes that doesn't involve just... Oh my god, I think uh, Sarkon the Mad is the only one that gets up to it faster because he's already there. Oh my god. Uh, maybe the ghost assassin, but it's not really a nuke. Oh my god. Minus six. <laughs> I give her an extra turn just in case, but oh my god, if you really need this emblem... Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Oh my goodness. That's actually a fun emblem, especially if you're playing a land-heavy deck. And if you're playing green, you probably do have a very land-heavy deck. But that, I'm sorry, just, just how quickly it gets up to that kind of just made me laugh a little bit. Because I've never really seen that before. I've either seen it... Um... already be at it, but not really have a significant healing ability, or healing as in, you know, getting loyalty counters back, or it takes a long time or a medium amount of time, but one turn, that makes me cackle for some reason. I know it's stupid, but not a bad card, and can come in handy if you're playing a very land-heavy deck, or it's lands are all you kind of have, except for her, maybe a couple of creatures, if you're lucky. So you can kind of set it up so that you can, like, start getting things again. Although you do run the risk of decking yourself if you're always playing lands. So, it, again, it's one of those swings and roundabouts kind of deals where you do have to be careful with it. And it's a May ability, so you don't have to do it. So if you think you're going to deck yourself if you keep doing it, then don't, don't do it. D don't, don't do it. Unless you really are that desperate for cards. So... Anyway, that is Nissa, Vital Force. Tune in next week for the second Nissa. Why did they release two of the same planeswalker in this set?